So today we're gonna try and fix these dead pixel marks. Oh, let me turn off this volume. And uh, there's quite a few. Uh, some of these are actually on the projection lens on the microscope, so I'm not gonna fix these big ones. But anyways, you see quite a few here. Let's move it around. There you go. You see how there's dead pixels around. Let's try to remove those. So what I'm going to do is here let's start a new project. Okay, the video I know is a 7 uh 1280 uh, by 720 at 30 frames per second. All right. So here, let's uh, import the video. Create a layer. This is going to be uh, the blurred layer in offset. And let's um, create another layer above it. And then um, we're going to create a mask layer here. But we need to create that first. So. Let's find a mark that's good. Okay, two minutes is around. Uh, good. Okay, let's create a screen capture of this. You can export a PNG. Oh, wrong one. Okay, PNG. Make sure the settings the same as your video so I'm changing it right here and I'm gonna export this as um, let's see mask temp or capture okay I'm gonna create quite a few actually so let's uh, so that we can um, compare when we're in Photoshop. Wait, did I export the first one? No, I did not. So let's, uh, excuse me for that. Let's do that. Okay. Let's make three. Okay, now let's open Photoshop. Uh, I've already created this, but let me uh, show you how to do it. Um, let's import it. File. Okay, where's one? Right here. Excuse me for a second. Okay, okay. Let's create two. Let's. Uh, I'm holding down Shift Alt to put it in. Press Enter. Same thing. Shift Alt. I don't think I have to, but I, it's a practice of mine. Okay. Now you could put it in exclusion, and then you might be able to see the spots. Pretty easy. Double click. But sometimes you might not. So I'm gonna get the brush mark, uh, brush tool, and I'll create a different layer, and that's gonna be our dead pixel layer. But let's see. I'm gonna put this into a folder, so that's easy to compare to the bottom. Okay. I'm gonna magnify it a little bit. Okay, so here's the dead pixels. If I turn on the exclude, you can see you might be able to see some of the dust marks because it excludes everything else mostly. But um, 
some of the harder to see marks might not be visible but yeah you see how you can see it it might be a quick way to do it but uh, anyways let's, let's get to it okay so select the brush and I have it on 100% hardness is fine I'm going to turn off the caps lock so I can see the size of the brush and uh, let's get to coloring okay okay just change the size of the brush that's the right bracket key um, and left bracket key to make it smaller I'm going to make it bigger than the white glow there okay make sure it's on black saves a step in Adobe Premiere see if that is a mark. I think it is. Okay. Sometimes there's a um, marks on your screen, your LCD screen or whatever monitor you're using and <laughs> you fool yourself so you gotta move it around hold the space bar so you can have the hand so that you can move it around Okay. is that one? yes it is you can see the faint green there Okay, let's see. Okay, all three of those. I'd rather make it a little bigger so it gets everything. But that's according to your preference. I'm not going to do these right there because um, those are not dead pixels, but they're dust marks and they're not going to be in the beginning of the videos or the end of the video because um, I just know it won't be and so it'll just include you know the bottom layer of the um, layer we're going to duplicate and it's not necessary you will see okay now let's make another layer and we're going to put that as the white background but we're going to put that underneath the dead pixels. And now G for the gradient tool. Caps lock to see the tool. Just to double check it's not the gradient but the bucket. And oops. Okay. Make it white. There we go. Now let's save it as a PNG file. And this is going to be our dead mask. Dead pixel mask. Okay make sure it's a PNG save okay now we have this mask here let's drag it on in to import it and we're gonna put it on that layer expand it out to the end of the video because we want to use it for the rest of the video okay so this we're gonna add actually this is gonna be the blur layer let's turn this off and I'm gonna blur this layer and uh, video effects blur Gaussian blur now just hold down the left button drag it over to that and let go now we have the blurriness I don't know. I'll put it around 30. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. Now this layer, we want the track mat and the keying. It's also under video effects. Shouldn't have closed that. Not that. Where is it? Keying. There, right there. 
now go to the bottom right there and hold the left drag it over there in the second one let go and now here on track map key under mat select mask as we had named it it would have been video 3 if I hadn't renamed it and now change this composite using to mat luma and let's turn this on and I forgot to offset this layer let me offset that by 8 goes to the motion here this is the vertical offset so I'm gonna it was 360 I'm gonna offset it 368 down 8 pixels and now we turn it on and let's see there's no more dead pixels and now we export it I'm gonna see what should I export it like only a few seconds to show you okay export media choose the video format you want there we go alright let's check it there's the no dead pixels and here's the one with the pixels uh, fast forward to the two minute mark see this and over here there's none Oh, what happened there? Hmm. That's weird. We'll have to see that later, but um, you get the general point. I missed some spots, though. Okay, so I figured out why there's a black mark right here. It's because I shifted this layer down. So as you can see, the black right there since there's no um, mask or dots closer to the edge of here I should shift it up so let's do that and okay let's shift it some more there we go oh well well here's going down you can see how it's revealed and here's going back up but that's the reason so you have to take into account uh, those things you could shift it you know it's straight up and down or uh, left right you know diagonally but um, you have to take into account um, the video because uh, you know it might take from a lighter area or a darker area and so it might not look right so yeah I mean, here's to illustrate if you move it around you see how the different effects where it's grabbing like lower or higher it's um... it changes the look so really shift it only like a little bit like you know my cursor for photoshop was um... about eight pixels or maybe a little less or a little more well 10 and I shifted it 8 so shift if it's a hard edge if it's you know like 7 pixels um, like with a pencil say it's like eight, okay let's get a different color say it's like 8 then um, you know shift it 9 and if it's you know 7 shift it 8 etc you know okay well that's it thanks for viewing